Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Zoom tutorial video. In this video, we'll be doing a tutorial over how to record your Zoom meetings. In addition to that, we'll also be going into the recording settings in Zoom so that you can configure the recordings to meet any needs that you have. All right, so the first thing we need to do is simply open up a Zoom meeting, and this one I'll be hosting. And it's very easy to start recording your meetings. All you need to do is go down to the toolbar right here, find record, and select that. Up in the top left of the meeting, it'll show you that it's recording. You can pause it and then restart it again. And pausing it and restarting it will not create a new video file. So if you're going to be using these to share with people, you don't have to worry about actually editing the video to share it. It'll all be in one file. Now we can quickly stop the recording and this will create a new video file by just hitting the little stop button. And then it will give me a little warning prompt that says that the recording will be saved after I end the meeting. You, and you can start and stop as many recordings as you want to during your meeting, but it will save all the recording files after you end the meeting. Now, if maybe you're in a class or you have someone that's gonna be taking notes on your meeting and you wanna allow some of your participants in the meeting to actually record the meeting, all we need to do is go to manage participants and then in the participants list that opens in the right sidebar, simply hover over the person that you want to allow to record the meeting. Once you see more, go ahead and select that and then go to allow record. This will give them the option to record the meeting. All right, so now that we've gone over how to record a meeting and then how to allow participants of the meeting to actually record the meeting, let's dig into the Zoom recording settings. So we can quickly open up the settings in Zoom by simply hitting this little arrow next to video and then going to video settings. Once in here, all we need to do is select recording in the left sidebar of the settings and we'll have some settings in here. First is going to be the location of the recording. So if you wanna quickly open up the location where all your recordings are saved, just go to open and that'll bring up the different recordings you have. You can also quickly change the saving location for any Zoom recording you have by going to change and then selecting the folder on your computer. And then you can even have Zoom ask you at the end of your meeting every time where you wanna save the recording files by just selecting this little chat box. Now, in addition to that, this is pretty cool. You can have Zoom record separate audio files for each participant in the meeting that's being recorded. So this can be useful if maybe you have a lot of people talking, but you're doing a class and you want to edit the video later to only include your audio. So you could select this, you'll get an audio file for each different participant that talks in the meeting, and then you can only include the ones that you want to have in your recording. After that, we have one that I recommend, and this is going to be optimize the recording for video editing. If you're gonna be editing your videos for YouTube or to share, I recommend doing this. It'll make sure that the format is a friendly format for video editing software. Next, we have add a timestamp to your recordings. This will add a timestamp like this to the bottom right of your recordings that has the date and the time. It can make it easier for people to identify which video they're watching and also where in the video if you give them a time to watch. The next two options are going to be for screen sharing. So if you want to have the recording include any screen sharing you're doing, such as like a, a maybe the desktop of your computer or a PowerPoint or Excel, you can include that in your recording. And then you can also have Zoom include your webcam in any of your recordings next to the screen share. So let me show you what that looks like right here. So as you can see right here, I just did a test. I have a calculator that I'm screen sharing. And then as you can see, it just embedded my webcam next to the screen share in the actual recording file. So I think that's pretty cool if you're going to be sharing this with people after you do a recording. And then the lapse option in the recording settings is just to keep temporary recording files. This will just keep it on your computer. It's more for troubleshooting with Zoom if you have any issues during your recording. So that's really up to you if you have extra space. All right, so the final thing I'm gonna do in this video is just end my meeting so you can see what happens and how you'll be able to access the recording files. So I'll just end the meeting real quick. You'll see it come up and start converting and creating those media files. Then it's gonna open up the specific folder that contains all of the video files. So as you can see in here, Zoom 1 and Zoom 0, I stopped and started the recording twice in my video, so I got two different video recordings. Another really cool thing they include is you get an audio file for each recording as well. So if you just wanted to share the audio from a meeting, you could do that as well. So that was a quick settings overview for how to record your Zoom meetings. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Zoom tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.